50 grand, $50,000. Are these the most expensive headphones on the planet? That's truly unbelievable. $50,000 for a pair of headphones? How can I not want these? I look at the price again and I scoff, but then I remember that none of this is real or my money. It's time to look into shoes. Nike 711 Dunk Low SB, $1,555. I love it like on my screen. I love the theory of the shoe. I mean, a seven, I don't know why I like a branded shoe with like a non-shoe brand, even though it is Nike all over it, but I love Nike. But 7-Eleven, I mean, it's like having Coca-Cola on your shoe. I will say this, I don't love just like red, just plain red. Don't love it as a color. End of the day, I'm not paying $1,500 for a shoe, no. New shoe, Stussy Dunk Low Pro SB Cherry, 3,050. Unlike the last shoe, I love this color combination. Brown is one of my favorite colors. This is a great shoe. You know, I look at the price again and I scoff. I think, no way. But then I remember that none of this is real or my money. I love this shoe. It's gonna be a tough shoe to beat. Can't even imagine a shoe beat. It looks like my dream shoe. Ugh, not my biggest uh, fan of the shoe. <laughs> Nike Dunk High Pro SB Reverse Skunk, 5,600. Hate high tops. Not gonna ever sell me on a high top. I think they look dumb. Nike Undefeated Zoom Kobe 5 Pro Tro Hall of Fame. I am the biggest Kobe Bryant fan. Love him. One of my biggest influences of, of my whole life. Not sure I would be the same guy if Kobe didn't exist. I was at Kobe's last game when he scored 60 points. I figure if I get these Kobe's, start jab stepping, start hitting a few pump fakes, I need to get back on the court. It's been a whole year of inactivity. My body is creaking. What once was springy and fast twitch is now sloth like. All of that being said, this is the new leader, no question. I can't even believe it, it took me that long to realize that. I'm on to the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 MNVN Honey Flux. Okay, here's my thought about this shoe, Kanye. I really love it. Yellow is just not my favorite color as a man, especially on me, but I love this shoe. I love the design. I, I totally understand what you're doing, or at least it's impacting me. I think the way that you want it to impact me, Kanye. This isn't anything to do with you. It's more of my love for Kobe. I know you're gonna understand. I'm also not, well, I am gonna do Kobe. I don't care what else I see. Jacu Solivier, lace up leather and shirling loafers. I mean, these are really cool. Borderline morally obligated to get these Kobe's, but I want them. And I need, the, the Kobe's are more of the practical decision for sure. Like anything else would just be glitz or glamor. These Kobe's are, I need them. Like, like for just from a blue collar perspective. I mean, the Yeezys look cool. They look like they're fake. They look like they're a cartoon in a good way. I love non-reality. The Kobe's though. All right. Headphones, honestly, I love headphones. There's not many things I wear more actively than headphones. Like headphones matter so much to me. Very excited to jump into the headphones. Bang and Olufsen Bioplay H95 Adaptive ANC headphones. Cool, like the way they look. They look high end, $850, that's cool. They look so soft and like, they look like they'd always be a little cool. I feel like no matter what, you want your headphones to be have a little cool. Audis LCD 4Z, I mean, price jumped up with this one. $3,995 for this sucker. That's a lot of money, that's a lot of cash. Kinda looks like a basketball, but like, uh, also like the logo of a planet. And I like space and sports. It's a little antenna coming out the side, I think that's cool. I like the way these look a lot, I believe in them. Someone put so much time and energy into the design of these headphones. Mr. Audis, I bet it was you. Sennheiser HE1, you know, I use the microphones and I've used a Sennheiser and I think I like them. So, 50 grand, $50,000. Really? Are these the most expensive headphones on the planet? That's unbelievable. That's truly unbelievable. $50,000 for a pair of headphones? I mean, I'm these are, uh, how can I not want these? What could make them cost like, like in my mind, like 4,500, 45,000 more dollars than what I imagine the most expensive headphones ever were. 
You got like two nice cars. I'm gonna read the details about this one. The amplifier sits on a housing crafted from glass and a solid block of Carrera. I mean, is that what I'm paying for? Natural stone? Michelangelo. Each dial is milled from a single piece of brass. Look at those little vials next to it. $1,500 for a pair of headphones is like, how can I even consider this? Focal clear MG I mean, come on, I just saw a 50 grand pair of headphones. I'm not interested in this shit. No, no way, 50 grand. Apple, no, just 50 grand, no. Oh, these are wireless? I bet these are sick, honestly. Big fan of Apple, uh, big fan of wireless activity, catch and shoot, just getting shots up. Okay, I'm gonna pick the one that's $49,000 more than the others. I'm gonna get the Sennheisers. Let's look at some warm blankets. Gucci, Gigi, pattern throw blanket. It's $1,100. I'm not looking at it for like, su <clears throat> I'm not looking at this for like style. I'm looking at this for substance in terms of warmth and the way it wraps. It's like great interior decorating, but I don't buy blankets as decorating. Scully and Scully, heavy Roma, cashmere throw, $1,400 roughly. <sighs> I like the photograph of it. I don't know how that picture came about, but whoever is responsible for it, it's great branding. First source custom pull, full pelt coyote fur blanket. Is this real fur? Cause you know, that's bad. I don't like that. That's bad. And you're trying to get me wrapped up in something. Animals are great and no, and, I, and no. F you for even thinking that I would like this. Bloomingdale's Faro Lindo blanket. Just mm, not my texture. Ugh, it's very woolly or something. Hermes Croquet. Is it Hermes or Hermes? Hermes Croquet de Tigre blanket. Beautiful print. I love. Um, tigers. It's not a lion, it's a tiger. It looks more like a placemat though. That's five grand. The Elder Statesman Super Soft Stripe Cashmere Blanket. Again, cashmere. And it's really a quirky pattern. I don't know. Kind of rubs me the wrong way. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. For me, it's Scully and Scully Cashmere Throw. I mean, look at the picture. Can I, I hope everyone's seeing the picture that I'm commenting on, but it looks like, like the, not even the king, the prince of blankets. Like a young, destined to be leader of the blankets, but like it's still young and it's f***ing. He it doesn't even have any of the responsibilities of being the king. It's just like next up and it's like fresh and warm and f***ing good. So I'm gonna go with that one. Luggage, luggage is important. Uh, I'm always on the go and I am so into convenience and um, machines, or not machines, but it is a machine or, you know, just a way to uh, optimize. Are you utilitarian? I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I had to do some research on that. I might be though. Samsonite Lightbox ALU. No. Don't like these metal knock on it. I need something with soul. Something that looks like it's from the Midwest. Crash baggage icon suitcase. No, no. It's just, I mean, somebody, it's somebody's dream luggage, not mine. I get it though. For, it looks like it's like what I envision like German people would travel with. Take it for what you will. I don't know. I don't even know what I mean by that. Prada nylon and Safiano leather trolley. Okay, look, simple, not flashy, but uh, designer somehow. At the same time, understated. Um, I like it. Thirty-three hundred dollars the price. I really lack context with luggage. I feel like I buy it once every like four years. I'm very cheap, and I feel like the luggage I would buy would be like seven hundred dollars or something. Like, and that's cheap. Yeah, three thousand dollars is a lot, but it's like it's not a sweatshirt. <laughs> Away travel carry on. Hate it. Not my style. Don't like it. Stiff as a board. Louis Vuitton Horizon 70, 4100. Um, you know, overly branded for my liking. I, I'm not really a guy who likes uh, everything just like this is the brand and it's like just splattered. So that's kind of how I feel. This table rolls. Well, I only liked one of them. I really actively disliked everyone but one. And I like the one. So Prada, Nylon, and Safiano leather trolley. Leather. I look leather. Well, f*** it, Prada. Cars, automobiles. Again, not a car guy. I don't get free cars at this point. At least I don't think I do. Maybe I do get free cars. I don't think I do. I feel like, like Quavo gets free cars or something. 
2021 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster, 517 racks. Okay. You know, all types of stats about it. 770CV, 566KW, greater than 350KM hour, 2.9S, 0 to 100KM. I mean, I live in America, so kilometers, I mean, um, I feel like it's a slap in the face. Is this, a, is this, this, isn't a, is this not American made, this car? Okay, so, you know. We got enough to deal with in America right now. I guess it's nice. I'm not really like a fast, like I'm not like a, I, speed is like troubles me. Whatever a thrill seeker is, I'm the opposite. I'm risk averse. I hate thrills. Don't seek them. So this is gonna be a pass. It's also not my interior type of vibe. I need like, like a wood oak. 2021 Toyota Avalon. I mean, if you're getting a Lamborghini or an Avalon, I don't know, I'd still pick the Lamborghini, I guess, but it's cool, nice interior, hot leather. Up until about two years ago, I had been driving a 2002 Toyota Avalon for the past decade. Great car, my grandfather's car. Gave it to my friend Gaeta, star of my show. He pretty quickly got a new car. I mean, I think he got like a Benz, honestly, and it's pretty insulting. For all that, I don't think I wanna go back down the Toyota Avalon route of my life. You know, I've just, there's been enough. Chaos. Okay, 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track, 46,980. I don't know, I don't think I can even drive a car this big without just like constantly crashing it. You know, I'm a horrible driver. Never driven a car this big. Would feel, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's bad for the environment. Waiting for a sustainable car to pop up, GQ. So we'll see how long this takes. Definitely not getting this Bronco. Not, it's really just not my taste at all. I don't think I need to say much else about it. And that's it, there's no, so, okay. There's no good for the earth type of stuff here. Okay, since it's not real and I own a Tesla, uh, I will get the, honestly, I'll get the, I'll get the Lamborghini. I'll get the Lamborghini, but not because I want to. It's a convertible and I've never, you know, I've never had a convertible. It mess up my hair, I think, and you know, it's loud, but Lamborghini, I guess. If I had to pick one item out of the whole thing, that I mean, I would pick the, I mean, the headphones, not only are like they, you know, nothing do I use more than a headphone, but I've, I'm flabbergasted at the price. I have $50,000 for a pair of I can't even believe it. I'm gonna make some calls right when I leave here and see who I know that might have that, but I don't think anyone has them. Quincy Jones or somebody, but I don't know. I'd, I, if you said, hey, right now, I'll give you the Lamborghini or the headphones, I would 100% say the headphones. How much is the Lamborghini? I take the, I would get the Lamborghini, I'd sell it, and then I'd buy the headphones. 